Hi guys, I'm just out trying the rock crawler again, but wandering around, I found another vape. I have stopped collecting them, but I couldn't avoid picking that one up, it's right in front of me. And then all this is clearly somebody's bicycle brakes. Now, I don't have any need for bicycle brakes, but I do actually have a need for a little bit of tubing. I don't know if that's aluminium or steel. If it's steel, that just happens to be exactly what I want for a little um, induction coil experiment. If it's aluminium, then it's probably not quite what I want. It might still be worth trying, but I really want a piece of steel pipe, because the induction heater works best with steel pipes rather than aluminium pipes. So, I should be taking that little lot home. I've got a couple of uh, plastic pipes. I don't know if they're PVC or silicon. I think they might be PVC. So they'll probably get a bit warm. And I've got two 2S batteries, which I'm going to run in parallel. So it'll still be 7.5 volts, 8 volts, but we'll have twice the potential amperage. So the idea is that I'll fill these up with water. Squirt that right the way through. Oh, got a bit of an air bubble there. Well, that might be all right to have an air bubble in there because we'll be able to see if anything's moving then. So the idea is we're going to heat up the pipe using the induction coil. That will heat up the water and in a pop pop boat it turns it to steam. The steam moves down the pipe, pushes the water out, or at least pushes the water down the pipe, it doesn't necessarily push it all the way out. As it travels down the pipe the steam cools down and condenses back to water so it collapses and that sucks the water back in again and it's a continuous cycle push pull push pull push pull and what we're trying to do is see whether we can heat it up with a induction coil instead of the normal um, tea light or flame of some sort in an ideal world we'd actually position that so that's right in the middle. Okay, I haven't got any switches here, so I've got to plug the batteries in and it will start running as soon as I've plugged the batteries in. And we really want that coil to have the pipe right in the centre. You don't want it touching the coil. Not because it's going to short it out or anything, but simply because the, the heat is generated in the centre of the coil, not out at the edges, if that makes any sense. So let's see what happens when we plug one of these in. The light comes on, I'll plug the other one in as well. I have to keep my eye on these because they're thin wires and they can overheat. So what we really want to do is watch and see if any air bubbles move. Oh, you might be able to hear a hum in the background, that's the um, fan blowing some cool air in the living room because it's all a bit hot at the moment heat wave well June
obviously it's not just heating the pipe, it's got to heat up the water as well. But as I understand it, the induction coil won't heat the water directly. It's to do with eddy currents formed in the metal. So it has to heat up the pipe and then the pipe heats the water. Movement. Can we see that? Let's zoom in a bit. Well, we had a little pump then, just as I moved the focus. Uh, can I move the camera? This is what we're looking at. If we heat it enough to actually push water up and down the pipe. We're certainly getting some movement. Again a bit. We could increase the voltage. At the moment we're running on eight volts. This will take up to twelve volts. Definitely getting movement, aren't we? There's also a bubble coming up the other side. I don't think we've got enough here to actually push a boat forwards. Well, let's be honest, we've nothing like got enough there to push a boat forwards, but we have got some movement in the pipes and I can smell things getting warm. This is getting warm. The wires are still all right. I can feel warmth here. It does actually give you an idea of how a pop pop boat works, the fact that it's pushing the water along, because that must be turning to steam in there to increase its um, volume, so it's pushing out, but as soon as it's pushed out a little bit it's cooling down again and collapsing back in again. Obviously the way I've got it arranged like this so it drops down like that, that's making sure that the water doesn't just run straight out. Well 
Well, we're still nowhere near driving a pop pop boat, but we've made progress compared to the previous episode. I'll put links in the video description to my Pop Pop Boat playlist. There's lots of videos in there. They're not all my Pop Pop Boats. There's from guys who know what they're doing. feel warmth coming off. I do have some car batteries, big 12 volt things that would give us plenty of current and 12 volts, but that would be far too big to put in a pop pop boat, which is why I'm trying to make use of these uh, LiPo batteries that I've got. Well, I think we've taken long enough. We're not, we're not going to succeed, but we've made progress. So, unplug that one. Unplug that one. So that's me two, two S LiPo batteries disconnected. cool down. In fact if I just lift one end up, let's go wide screen again. Yeah, if I just lift one pipe up that will run cold water all the way through which will cool it down. So that'll do for tonight. Limited progress. This is going to go on for months at this rate. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.